we've got some breaking news now on the heels of the uh, uh, on the heels of the news out of Texas a short time ago with the governor there shutting down all bars by noon central time. Florida now announcing a new case total 9000 new coronavirus cases overnight reported in the state of Florida. And now they are shutting down uh, the sales of all alcohol. So all bars are ordered to stop serving alcohol on premises in Florida as uh, they see the number of coronavirus cases growing in that state. Uh, American intelligence officials have concluded that a Russian military intelligence unit secretly offered bounties to Taliban-linked militants for killing coalition forces in Afghanistan, including targeting American troops amid the peace talks to end the long-running war there, according to officials briefed on the matter. The U.S. concluded months ago that the Russian unit had covertly offered rewards for successful attacks last year. Islamist militants or armed criminal elements closely associated with them are believed to have collected some bounty money. The official said 20 Americans were killed in combat in Afghanistan in 2019, last year, but it was not clear which killings were under suspicion. The intelligence finding was briefed to President Trump and the White House's National Security Council discussed the problem at an interagency meeting in late March, according to these officials. Coca-Cola on Friday threw its weight behind an ad boycott against social media companies for not doing enough to tackle hate speech. Coke said it will pause paid advertising on all social media platforms globally for at least 30 days. Shares of Facebook were already down ahead of the news. Earlier on Friday, Unilever shook things up when it joined the ranks of Verizon and others who have backed the quote, stop hate for profit campaign. But the global brand behind supermarket staples like Dove Soap, Hellman's Mayonnaise, and Lipton Tea went a step further than the others. Not only will it stop advertising on Facebook and Instagram platforms in the U.S. for the rest of 2020, it is also staying away from Twitter. Twitter shares fell 7% on the news. Friday lunchtime in the centre of Glasgow. This was a chaotic, harrowing scene. Armed police officers rushed to the Park Inn. Inside the hotel, they shot a man dead, but not before a number of people had been stabbed. Witnesses spoke of stabbed victims inside and outside the building. Paramedics in protective suits treated casualties on the pavement. Police said the six people injured included a 42-year-old male police officer taken to hospital with stab wounds and in a critical condition. As armed officers left the scene, Police Scotland ruled out terrorism as a factor. The Park Inn is one of a number of hotels in this city used to house asylum seekers and refugees since the start of the coronavirus pandemic. There are calls tonight for a royal commission into Chinese interference as Australian intelligence agencies investigate a state Labor MP. The New South Wales government is now moving to suspend Shaket Mosselmane from Parliament, saying the allegations strike at the heart of our democracy. Returning home with questions unanswered. The now suspended Labor MP had left Parliament with his office raided and his future questionable. A person of interest in an unprecedented investigation into Beijing's influence and interference here in Australia. The raids were in Sydney, but the fallout stretching to Canberra and beyond. And what's your reaction as the Free Market Foundation to this judgment coming out of the High Court yesterday? The court finding that the fact that a substance is addictive doesn't make it essential. Our concern is actually about civil liberties and human rights. 
And it's very unfortunate that people don't acknowledge the rights of people to control their own body, their right to human dignity, and the right to all the benefits that smoking gives people, which is satisfaction, combating depression, combating stress, etc., etc. So smoking has many considerable health benefits, and these are being denied people, which makes them more vulnerable to COVID infection, not less. The judgment itself is important because it doesn't consider the correct, in my view, arguments. They were not properly presented. Uh, in other words, it, is, it, it doesn't refer to the earlier judgment, which said that the regulations are irrational. COVID-19 transmissions from religious circles continue to accumulate in South Korea's metropolitan areas. The Korea Centers for Disease Control and Prevention announced Saturday that seven new cases from a church in Seoul have been confirmed, bringing the total number of cases from the Wangsung Church to 19. But more cases could derive from this church as over 1,700 people attended services. And among those diagnosed with the new respiratory disease is a high school teacher and a hotel employee who came into contact with many people at work. As cluster infections within churches continue, the government has urged people to take extra precautions. Over 40,000 attacks in five days. After the border face-off, China is now targeting Indian cyberspace. India's infrastructure and banking sectors have been under attack. Maharashtra Police Cyber Cell that's probing the attack says the Indian government sectors still remain vulnerable. According to a Singapore-based cyber threat intelligence firm, the sectors that were targeted for cyber attacks included telecom, pharma, media companies, smartphone makers, construction and tire companies. The analysis also shows that the hackers particularly targeted three government ministries, foreign affairs, defense and information and broadcasting. <laughs> 